Um, uh, a mega Edina exclusive. Edina travels to Mundra, to the country's largest commercial port. We get you Karan Adani's first television interview. Karan, uh, of course, is the eldest son of Gautam Adani and the heir apparent to the $20 billion Adani group. Here is Karan Adani in conversation with my colleague Nanta Rai. Power as an industry in the country, we are going through a turmoil. And I think it's a part of business cycle, but I, we are very confident that we will come out of this uh, uh, this uh, 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 this phase. Um, I think in terms of uh, debt, I think we are very comfortable because all these debt are backed by solid assets. Uh, they are performing assets. Majority of the debt has been uh, uh, with the power, uh, whether it's in the power or ports or in mining. All of them have been backed by good, uh, good assets, performing assets. Power is now being seen as a major drain on the Adani Group. It's got a very high debt. It's uh, led to, you know, political leaders like Subramanian Swami uh, talking about the financial health of uh, Adani Group and talking about NPAs, etc. It's an issue of people not understanding the overall picture and uh, just looking at the number as a standalone. Uh, if you look at it. Uh, from, we have uh, five listed companies, from that two are investment grade rated companies, whether it's Port or uh, Adani Transmission. Adani Enterprise, in which we have the, uh, the edible oil business, the coal mining business, also again have solid assets and solid business over there, uh, all, uh, all making profits. And uh, the most important part is, as a group, we have never defaulted on a loan. Okay. Uh, in our history, we have never defaulted, even even at this stage when power is going through a, 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 a tough time, we have never defaulted on any of our loans. Okay, that's very important that you've never defaulted on a loan. And has that been a lesson maybe for you, your father, the Dani group, that uh, maybe debt is not always the best option, how to not over leverage? <laughs> so I think, uh, yes, it has been uh, uh, a learning for us. Um, and I think we are taking steps in terms of deleveraging uh, and to make sure that uh, uh, you know we are not reaching a position of stress. Um, yeah. So at Adani Port, you're happy with the financials, you're happy with the balance sheet? Yes, so at APSCZ, uh, last two years we have had free cash flow generation. Uh, our net debt to EBITDA has been, two, uh, has been consistently coming down. Uh, we, uh, last to last year we were at 3.1 net debt to EBITDA. This year we have closed at 2.4. Uh, so, and that debt will uh, keep coming down because most of our assets are now uh, coming online and our capex cycle has also come down. Okay, your capex is coming down. But yes. hello, one second. You just done a big acquisition in uh, Tamil Nadu from LNT. It's your foray into South India. Yes. Taking two years to close, 1900 crore rupees. How can you see your capex is going down? You're looking at inorganic growth. Yes, but uh, we also have free cash flow generation over there. So, uh, and, at, and the free cash flow generation is going to increase every year because we have uh, uh, most of our ports are now ramping up capacity, our capac uh, volumes are increasing and uh, uh, our monetization on the SEZ is also happening. Okay. So, so I think... Uh, How are you monetizing the SEZ? So we have uh, two, two models where one is where we build the infrastructure uh, for, the, for the tenants and then we lease it out. So similar as what we have, the, CT, uh, the, the container terminal that we are in. Or the second option is that we give uh, land to lease, uh, upfront lease to any of the uh, any of the manufacturers who so want to. So, in fact, you know, when we were driving here, I did see uh, uh, these signs from Maruti Suzuki, yes. H, uh, HPCL, IOC, Britannia. Yes. These are all your tenants. These are all our tenants, and okay. uh, we give apart from just giving them land, we give them the port service. So our model is look for people for whom uh, logistics cost port is a major part of their logistics cost and who require efficient handling and that's the differentiator we, we, we are creating over here. Okay, but uh, you know, while I just want to get back to the inorganic growth strategy, if you're investing 1900 crore rupees uh, to buy out LNT stake in Tamil Nadu, I'm sure you have other such plans as well in uh, for other ports. Sure. So, so if you look at, uh, we have 10 ports across uh, India right now. Um, and if you look at the geography, there are only two states which are left where we do not have a, a position that is Andhra Pradesh and uh, Maharashtra. Maharashtra. And uh, we are looking at opportunities, both organically as well as inorganically. The reason I say uh, uh, organically is because not a lot of assets are available for sale or not a lot of right assets are available for sale as well. 
So, so we, we evaluate both looking at uh, uh, what is the uh, requirement in terms of uh, the future of the business at the same time what is the right price to pay. I want to uh, just ask you this one question, it is an uncomfortable question. I'm sure your father's also asked this a lot or you hear about it, it's no secret. Uh, there's a very uh, strong perception that the Adani group is very close to the current government, to Narendra Modi, to the political establishment in New Delhi. Uh, why does that perception exist if it's not true? My father knows uh, Prime Minister not when he was a CM but much before that and uh, it's a, more of a personal relationship that they enjoy because they, they, they enjoy each other's ideology and they, they respect that. And our philosophy is very simple that you have to take, uh, you have to be in confidence of government when you are making any investment. So unless the government does not want it, whether it's a state or central government, uh, whether it's BJP or Congress, if they do not want it, then we do not pursue that. Uh, and the third most is that uh, we... But have you invested more with the BJP's government so or the Congress government? Actually, it's a good government? question because uh, when uh, our current Prime Minister was the Chief Minister uh, of Gujarat, uh, and during that period, we actually invested more outside of Gujarat than in Gujarat. And uh, most of the investments that we made were in Congress-led uh, uh, government. Karan, I'm seeing this whole host of construction. I believe there's an LPG terminal yes, coming up. Uh, so this is India's uh, largest LPG terminal. It will be ready by December of this year, calendar oh. year. And uh, this is a capacity of 3.2 million tons. And uh, it also has the largest uh, tankage, uh, okay. tanks uh, available in India. So why did you decide to build an LPG terminal? Sure. So I think uh, uh, we do believe that going forward India is going to be focusing a lot on gas and gas based uh, and, and country is going to move into a gas based economy. And part of it is uh, we do not have a, a world class infrastructure to manage gas. Uh, to manage gas, to import gas, so whether it's LPG or LNG, and that's where uh, we have come in to to take that opportunity and to uh, to build. Are you tell me that whether it's an ONGC or Alliance Industries, we don't have uh... such kind of infrastructure right now? No. Okay, so. You so is this also the big play that maybe uh, you're making why the ports company into the gas business? So this is a pure terminaling company. We are not going to be taking uh, uh, we are not going to be taking any uh, business bets on the gas, gas. Okay. itself. We are here to give service to any any uh, company which wants to import gas into India. So when you joined Adani Ports in 2009. Uh, did you join at the top or the bottom? I joined at the bottom. So first year I was uh, at the port, uh, learning the operations right at the ground level. Uh, I was not officially part of the group and uh, not a lot of people knew that I was here. Uh, and what do you mean? That, uh, what would you say your second name was? <laughs> I never said what was my second name at that time. So somebody asked you your name, what did you say? I just gave my name, first name. So, <laughs> okay. So, so, so they had no idea this is the boss's yeah, son. Yeah, so that no, not a lot of people knew about it. And uh, so that was that is how my father had uh, uh, wanted me to uh, understand the nitty gritty of the port's operations. Do you think you'll just stay with the port business? What are your ambitions? <laughs> what are your dreams? So, so I think uh, first in the port business, we have a long, long way to go. I would not say that group's ambitions are, uh, are satisfied with what we have. Uh, our ambition is to be the world's largest port operator developer. Uh, based out of India? Based out of India and we still have a long way to go. You already told me how you've entered uh, South India. You have to enter Andhra Pradesh as well yes. as Maharashtra. So how are you going to become the world's largest uh, so port our, company? So our next stage of growth is to go within the region. Uh, so we are looking at countries like Bangladesh, Myanmar, uh, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia and on the eastern part of Africa and the reason we chose these countries is because we do believe that our existing assets that is Mundra, Dhamra uh, can play an anchor role in terms of driving volumes and driving business uh, and growth between the two, uh, two ports. Mm. So that's how we are planning right now that immediately look at the region and then expand further uh, once we've got our foothold in the region. Besides what the Dani Group already is in, do you have uh, ambitions for other kind of businesses? I think there is a lot of room to grow. Uh, even only in the logistics space also, there is a lot of new businesses that can be started. Uh, and uh, that is what uh, we would look for. Okay. 
So within the logistics. Uh, yeah. So to tomorrow we still have a whole space of air cargo, airports. Oh, is that something you're looking at? We we would look at it because end of the day it's all linked to the logistics. So we would we would be happy to look at uh, and expanding this. Uh, this business as well. Would that be the natural progression, air cargo and air logistics? I think so. And would it all be, because you've got 40,000 acres, let's say, at the Mundra <laughs> SEC, yeah. right? So would it be from here? Uh, it could be from here. It could be, so we already have an airport over here, airstrip, and uh, we would look at uh, uh, starting maybe something from here. But uh, we will also look at uh, within the country as well. And by when do you think you'll do this? Uh, <laughs> it's a tricky question. I think... Uh, uh, we uh, we'll look at the right opportunity. I don't think so. Uh, we would look at it from uh, a financial point of view, but no. I think getting the right asset. Uh, when so you could look at inorganic growth for entry? Yes, yeah. we could. Can you just put this in perspective for me? Because I'll be very honest with you. Yeah. I've now gotten confused because sometimes I read reports it's happening, then it's not happening, the government is for it, then it's against it. Yes. What's happening in Australia? <laughs> Where is it at? <laughs> So Australia, it's a good question. Australia, we have got all the government approvals mm. uh, for everything. For the rail, mine and the port, we have all the government approvals. We have got all the environment approvals. Uh, we, have complete the, we have completed the financing of the uh, mine. The port is already operational. Now we are just closing on the financing on the rail part. So once that is done, uh, we'll start the... We'll so start you, the all the clearances are in? Because yes. we just keep hearing sometimes the Queensland government has said no, yes, no, they no, said no. No, no, no. We've got all the approvals in Okay. Place. So you're just waiting to close the financing yes, to the railways. Right. How much would you need? Uh, I think that project is almost a billion, billion dollars. A billion dollars? Yeah. Okay. Okay, a 